So this is the tutorial for a quick one-handed cut that I like to call hook, line, and sinker because you have this first part, which I guess is like a hook, but then you have this next part, which is a line, and then sinker because the card kind of sinks behind the deck. But yeah, to do this, what you need is this top packet to be in the horizontal position, like so. Now, there are a few ways you can get to this. My favorite is to go from a Charlier cut, but push on the top of the packet to angle it, and then move your middle finger to the short edge, and your thumb to the other short edge to get it to go in that horizontal position. So in speed, it's a bit more like that. You can also do this though by doing a scissor cut, but move your middle finger to the short edge and rotate the cards like so. Now, I'm not very good at this, nor do I really like it that much, so I don't really do it. And then another way you can do it is to do a swing cut, but with this bottom packet still under the top packet, you rotate the bottom packet by pushing down on the corner of the packets, like so, to rotate it. And it's held between your middle finger and thumb so that you can rotate the packet easily. So it rotates face up. And then your non-dominant thumb pushes on the back edge closer to your palm to where it's face down and it's in that horizontal position so it looks kind of something like this and then another way you can do it is you can just do swing cuts and lay that packet down in that horizontal position and then you do something with this packet it doesn't really matter so yeah those are a few ways just to get into that horizontal position but once you get here you're gonna hold the packet between your thumb and middle finger on the short edges it's best to do it near the middle because I'll make it easier and then you do a scissor cut like motion where the ring finger and pinky finger push on the bottom corner of the base packet while your thumb moves away so that the packets can clear each other and the edges of the packets can clear each other. It's like a scissor cut, except it's with your middle finger instead of your index finger. So you do a scissor cut like motion. Then once you get here, your index finger is gonna push down on the corner of that packet to where it goes into your palm. Then your thumb pushes down to where it contacts your pinky, like so. And that's the actual cut. So in speed, it's kind of like that. Now, I guess the add-ons would be pulling out this single card with your thumb. So to do that, you do the cut, and then it's best if your thumb reaches down as far as it can while still having the pad of your thumb contact the card, because if you use your nail, it's obviously not going to work because there's no friction. So you need to use the pad of your thumb, and the pad of your thumb also needs to be a little bit moist so that it can grip the card. And so the pad of your thumb is just going to drag out a single card as far upward as it can go. Now for me, my thumb's a little short, so it has like two centimeters of the card still left in the deck. So my thumb kind of has to slide down the back of the card while pushing forward to get the rest of the card to come out of the deck. And then you kind of curl your thumb while contacting the card to get the card to kind of lay on top of the deck like so. And then you kind of just use your thumb to drag the card downward behind the deck. So I think that part's hopefully self-explanatory. Now, if your thumb can reach farther down on the card, it'll probably be easier to pull that card out. But since my thumb is short, it can only go so far. So again, just kind of slide your thumb down and hopefully you clip the card. I did not there. Pull it out, push on the back of the card until it can go face up on top of the deck. And then you can pull the card down like it's sinking behind the deck. Now also, if you want, you can also allow that card to spin. So you just kind of release your grip with your thumb when you get to this point. And gravity will allow that card to fall or to spin and then fall.
like so. So yeah, that's pretty much the move. So now for a quick overview, get the top packet in this horizontal position, use your thumb and middle finger on the short edges to grip that top packet, perform a scissor cut like motion, use your index finger to push that packet down, and use your thumb to push down to where it contacts your pinky, use your thumb to pull out a single card as far as you can, then use your thumb to push on that single card onto the face of the deck, or onto the back of the deck, but the card is face up. And then use your thumb to drag that card down or spin it, whichever you prefer. So in speed, that's it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you have questions, feel free to comment down below. And that was another quick little tutorial for you guys, but this time on a one-handed cut with a few add-ons basically. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now a little thing I want to note is that while I haven't seen anyone do this move before, I don't know if it's actually original or not, or that I'm the first person to do it. So if someone knows of something, please comment it down below and please excuse my ignorance and also please excuse my lack of posting for the past while. Uh, but I've got a few more videos planned and hopefully I can get them out soon. By the way, one quick kind of live update thing is that this thing here is what I had in my dorm room. It's, as you can see, we've got 24 cards because I didn't want to actually put them up on the wall. So I made it onto this little frame. So cool little idea you can do if you don't want to actually put it on your wall. So I think it looks pretty cool. That's about how far my decoration goes besides periodic tape on the deck display. Not big on decorating. So, yeah. I've been known to be a minimalist. If you can't tell, I'm a little rusty from my intros. No, from my outros. See, I can't even speak. Or film or do anything. And so yeah, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell to get notified when those videos do finally come out. Hopefully they come out sometime this year, probably within the next few months though, honestly. And so, yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah,